In this episode, Sony's PS3 class action lawsuit, a $35 Linux tablet, and build a $200 Linux PC. Quicksurf Internet Media presents Linux News Log, separating the Linux and open source signal from the noise. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Phoenix, Arizona, here in Studio C1 at Quicksurf Internet Media. Linux News Log is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to techpodcast.com and they've got a bevy of other technology-related shows to check out. Before we uh, get into the stories for this episode, I would like to point out to everybody that this is the last episode of Season 10. Um, here at Quicksurf Internet Media, all of our seasons are 21 episodes because they're half of 42, and uh, we all know what 42 is. So let's go ahead and get into the story for Season 10, Episode 21. At Ars Technica, there's a story. Sony is now facing a single class action lawsuit for the uh, PlayStation 3 other OS re uh, option removal. And uh, basically, the last time we, were, we reported on this, there were several lawsuits going, um, and effectively, those lawsuits have been uh, consolidated down into one class action lawsuit. So uh, it's still very early. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll be keeping an eye on this as things develop. We'll report it. But uh, for now, it's uh, now a class action lawsuit against the other OS removal option where you can load Linux on uh, a PlayStation 3. So it, we'll see how it turns out. Let's talk about our sponsor for this episode, GoToAssist Express. There are a variety of tools that let you remotely support a client, colleague, or friend. But the only one I trust and rely on is GoToAssist Express, the best remote support tool designed for small to medium-sized businesses, and it's brought to you by Citrix. Why use GoToAssist Express? Well, it has exceptional performance, it's very easy to use, and it's secure. IT professionals, really anybody who doesn't have time to squander with a tool that's slow or unreliable, will appreciate GoToAssist Express. There's no IT maintenance or updating required. It's so fast, you'll be on a client's computer troubleshooting in seconds. And it is consistently reliable. My listeners can try GoToAssist Express free for 30 days. For this special offer, visit gotoassist.com slash techpodcast. I repeat, my audience can try GoToAssist Express free for 30 days. For this special offer, visit gotoassist.com slash techpodcast. From tech.spreadit.org, there's a story here, a $35 tablet computer. The India tablet computer is Linux-based. That's correct. India is working on a $35 tablet that's based off of Linux. Um, it's been released to help low-income individuals access the internet. The handheld device will come with an internet browser, multimedia player, PDF reader, and the ability to video conference. It will tap into a market that previously was unable to afford a computer in the country. The Linux-based computing tool will be most useful to students who will now be able to enjoy all of the tools the computer-based the computer users often take for granted. So. This is pretty cool. I'm curious to see if it's ever going to be released here in the U.S., but still, nonetheless, pretty neat stuff. From Extreme Tech, uh, I ran across a story, and I just thought I'd share it with you. Build a $200 Linux PC. Uh, this story basically goes through, and it's a how-to on, you know, parts, you know, basically how to build a $200 computer that will run Linux uh, quite nicely. So, uh, by all means, check the story out if you're in the market for a, a relatively inexpensive Linux-based computer. Um, and, uh, you know, if you like the story, let me know. Or if you've built anything, uh, you know, if you've built something from this story, by all means, uh, shoot me an email to linux at quicksurf.com. From techtarget.com, there's a story. IBM Z Enterprise Mainframe embraces Unix and Linux. The new Z Enterprise mainframe that IBM unveiled has, uh, on Thursday, has heft and brawn, of course, but also the strength to hold IBM power systems running Unix 
and x86 systems running Linux in its considerable arms. IBM says the Z Enterprise multi-architecture strategy represents the ultimate in customer choice and flexibility. Skeptics, meanwhile, would not be faulted for viewing Big Blue's new embrace and extend philosophy as a way to keep the mainframe relevant in the face of x86 commoditization, virtualization, and VMware. So, again, um, you know, to really take advantage of this, you got to have their their new Z Enterprise mainframe that they've released, you know, their big daddy, so to speak. Uh, still pretty interesting that they're, that they're uh, you know, at least going to let you run an x86 virtual machine with Linux on it. So pretty neat stuff. From the register, Intel and Nokia's Mego Linux gets car boost. Car Industry Alliance uh, Genevi has officially chosen Mego as the reference release for its in-vehicle infotainment system. Mego will provide the basis for the upcoming Genevi Apollo release. It was announced on Friday. There was not a date for when Apollo would be delivered. The idea is that the IVI, which is the in-vehicle infotainment system, will be used to build navigation, entertainment, and location-based services based in cars and provide connections to devices, car, and broadband networks. So pretty cool stuff. Well, that'll pretty much do it for this edition of Linux News Log. As always, I thank you for watching and listening. Um, visit us on the web, linux.quicksurf.com, and uh, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Adrian underscore Bacon. And um, I will see all of you on the next episode. It will be season 11, episode 1. Um, for all of us and part of the reason why i did the whole 21 half of 42 is i originally wanted to do 42 episodes per season but that just seemed really awkward and long and so i said well what's half of 42 21 that very much falls within the range of how many episodes you could expect to see uh from a normal typical season here on the u.s airwaves um the only difference is i don't ta really take a break between seasons so it's pretty much you know next week expect to see uh Season, uh, season 11, episode 1, and um, we'll take it from there. So with that, I will see all of you on the next episode. See you then. 42.